Hey folks, Isaac the Nothing Miller here. We're tying up a salmon fly for the Deschutes River hatch just a couple days away. Uh, we're using a 3X long uh, Daiichi 1270 size 6. Um, perfect size for the salmon flies. Using a 6 aught thread in black and trying to tie in a pair of rubber legs here. Um, there we go. I'm going to run these... Uh, rubber legs to two purposes here. Uh, antenna up at the front, once I get things situated tight, there we go. And then we're gonna, now we got the front anchor down well, we can run this down the top of the hook, um, all the way down to the back where it's gonna make up the tail. We're gonna run this back, uh, oh, you can run as far back as the barb on the hook. Let me cut off my thread end here perfect and then uh, make sure we get this nice and tight the tail itself we're gonna cut that and uh, it's gonna be about the gap in the hook once we get things uh, separated here make sure things are splayed out well you know go. boom hook gap Looking good. Make sure things are cinched down well. Make sure that tail stays splayed well. Perfect. Just like that. I'm going to grab my grizzly hackle. Um, if you've got a saddle, use it. Um, all I have is this cape. I'm going to pick through and find some of my longer feathers. They'll just Barely get this fly covered. There we are. Come on. One more. There. And then uh, this hackle, we're going to tie in at the tip. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. Wind that back. And going with our foam. Um, using an orange and a brown, there it is, foam. Uh, go ahead and stack these together and cut a thin strip of each at the same time, eh, a little over an eighth of an inch. Um, if you're going after the golden stones, which and that hatch happens right after our salmon fly hatch, you can use a uh, yellow foam instead of uh, the orange. Keep the brown in there and then downsize the hook to a size 8 and do this exact, exact same thing and you're going to have a good bug. Um, anyway, let's uh, tighten down this foam. If I had longer pieces, I'd run it the whole length of the body, but unfortunately I've got just enough to get by here. It's okay if it's ugly. We're going to cover this up. And the salmon fly is a really big, meaty bug anyway, so we can have a lot of body here. The line, run the line up. And then we're going to twist these two pieces of foam together. This is just going to add more segmentation and more color to the bug. Um, you know, how tightly you twist the two pieces together is going to tell you how thick the bug is going to be. So keep that in mind when you're twisting and working your way forward. There we are. And boom. Let's tighten that down. couple securing wraps in here, pull the threads back, nip the foam down, and we can really cinch them down right here at the front, there we go, and give you a quick look of how that's looking on the bottom of the bug, it's a lot of variation there, I think that's really nice, uh, we're going to take our hackle, and we're going to wind that forward. And you keep that in the, the creases of uh, the foam, and that's really going to help protect the hackle. It's going to also add to that buggy appearance. Um, if you don't have a grizzly, a uh, furnace, a good uh, furnace is going to work great for you. Um, dark gingers, um, anything brown, orange, 
or like I really like the grizzly look. Go with that. Get this attached here up to the front, and we can trim that off. Let's really sweep things back here. Cinch it down a little bit more. And then we can trim things up. Let's see how we're looking here. Not bad. Let's go ahead and trim these extra pieces off here. They're just going to get in the way later. Perfect. Looking good. Uh, now, brown crystal flash. Um, you don't need to go real crazy with this. and You can even go without but uh, I like to throw just a few strands in. Um, three is a good number. Don't need a whole lot, like I said. Just flip that up underneath your thread, get it up on top. Give it a couple of wraps to keep a good, good hold on things. There we go. And grab the, the rest of it, sweep it back, and cinch it down. There we go. Perfect. There's our crystal flash. Um, we're going to hold on to all of this for now. You don't want to cut it just yet. That'll be one of the last things that we do. Make sure that's up on top of the fly. Looking good. Um, and now, something you'll only find here in the Northwest so far as I know. There it is. Perfect. Um, Norm Woods Colored Antron. Um, it's a really fishy color. It's kind of a pink, pale color. Trout here really key in on it. We're going to use this as our underwing. Go ahead. Run it up underneath the thread. Wrap it. Secure it. Pull it back. Cinch down. And this we're going to cut just barely past the tail. Barely past. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and brush that out just a little bit. You can use your... Yeah, after we get it tightened down, there we go. Brush through with the scissors. Work fine. Bodkin. Whatever you have. If you got a comb, go for it. Just brush that out a little bit. There's a little bit more fuller body. Perfect. And... Now, on top of that, we're going to use a little bit of natural elk hair. Um, just a real small bunch. Make sure you get it cleaned out. I don't always stack this. Um, sometimes I do. I left my st hair stacker elsewhere, so I won't be stacking this, but I'll make sure things are looking pretty close anyway. Pick out some of these longer bits. Perfect. Get that perfect length, just as long as that Antron. Get that up on here. Keep a good firm hold of that elk hair, and it won't spin and flare out all over on you. Uh, there we go. And that is perfect in my book. Look at that. Big, nice... Nice looking bug here. Making sure my my antenna haven't moved too far and get those splayed out a little bit. Look at that. Boom. We're looking great. Now, where'd it go? Just had it. Brown foam. Here we go. We're going to cut a quarter inch wide strip here. And this is going to finish things off. Uh, for the fly. Take your quarter inch bit, give yourself a good arrow head, makes it easier to tie in. There we go. And we're gonna tie, this is the funnest part, is trying to tie in this point. Everything hanging off the front of the fly. So it's going to take a lot of work. Make sure it doesn't roll over the side on you. There we are. There, we're 
we're getting there. Good strong hold. There we go. Set her down a little bit more. There we are. And yeah. There. That's looking better. I'm gonna do some dubbing. Um I use a little bit of this Spirit River. Uh, it's a mottled nymph blend. Uh, there's some great stone fly colors here. Um, use the black or uh, the golden. Um, I think I used a brown. And I mix that with some Nature Spirit uh, orange dubbing. Um, this is really a true, uh, true natural dubbing material in an orange. A uh, couple pinches of each. Pull them apart, rub them together with your fingers, and uh, get a good blend going there. And again, you know, we're doing orange and a brown. Uh, really matches in with the, the foam that we've already got. Go ahead and dub up the thread here. Looking good. And we'll wrap up this section. And we can pull, there we go, yeah, a little, couple more, and we can pull this thread back and then re-secure that foam behind the area that we just dubbed, just like that. Pretty sweet. Make sure everything's still nice and centered well. Sure those Get that tightened down. See, now we got a nice looking bug going on here. Let's grab the legs again, the rubber legs. Got a few pieces here. Run it up underneath the thread and position it on either side. There's my side. Here's your side. There we go. It come up just a little bit more. Don't do bad and knock over the camera. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Get that positioned. I'm gonna run it a little bit high because I know it's gonna get pulled down by the threads. So there we are. It keeps a good display on there. Wrap, wrap. Get it real nice and tight. Got a good buggy looking fly. I take this little bit of orange foam, stack that on top. This is just to help me see this bug on the water. Um, that orange will really pop out. There we are. Perfect. And that on, we can go ahead and whip finish. I whip finish back here um, just to make life a lot easier. Don't have to bring that thread back forward. Just got to work that around all the legs. Make sure everything's sitting in a good spot. Get that, that crystal flash out of the way. Got my legs tangled up here. There we go. Boom. S silly legs. I guess that's why they call them that. Always in the way. I think I got it to get there we go something like that will work tie that down trim our legs to length boom boom and I'm gonna trim up pull those out make them look nice and buggy go ahead and trim 
our little tag here, and we are done. This is, uh, oh, I almost forgot, Antron, you want longer than the, than the rest of the wings. Trim up the wing here, round it off, make it look a little bit more natural. There we go. There she is. It's a good uh, Deschutes salmon fly. Um, like I said, you can downsize this to a size 8. Get these antenna. Uh, and make it more yellow, more golden. And you'll have uh, you'll be ready for the golden stone fly hatch. Which comes right after this giant salmon fly hatch. Um, I'm Isaac the Nothing Miller. Thanks for watching the video. And hope this is good fly for you.